Okay everyone, hi, this is Aruka Sensei, and I'm filming this live <laughs> for the first time, I guess, something new. I just wanted to show what Pokemon cards I've collected over the years. It's been a long, 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 long expedition, I suppose. And here we are with the Master Collection, the first 150. Let's see, Venusaur. Now I have two different ones here. You can tell, you can see a little color difference between both Bulbasaur's and one has the numbers thinner than the other. See, you can see 40 in block lettering and that one's thinner. I don't know if it means that one is was originally... I'm assuming it means this was one of the original prints even though it doesn't say first edition, but... I just kept them separated. Um, that's the Charmander's an original one. That one is Team Rocket. That came out later. Uh, just basically going through and showing the different ones I have. Um, some like Blastoise and Charizard, those are always holographic. There's some that aren't always like Beedrill. Beedrill is one that's either holographic or not. I do not have a holographic Beedrill. I have a non-holographic first edition Pidgeot. It's very nice. Some of them are first edition. Some of them aren't. And some of them, the ones... The original 150 are the ones that have this flower, almost like a vile plume symbol there, and ones that don't have anything. Those are part those are both of the original ones. And then the ones with the fossil on it came out later, but they added to the final 150. So those three combined added to the final 150. Um this is a promo Pikachu. I I'm guessing it came from the first or second movie. Not sure. Those that's that Pikachu came out later, as well as that one. With the double star by it. And got two shiny Raichus there. And a Surge's Raichu. So I basically got everyone. And you'll notice a missing Clefable there. That is in a safe place. I have that one. That is my prized first edition Clefable. Holographic. And different Zubats and Golbats. Japanese Sabrina's Venonat. I'm not actually sure where the... I guess you could buy Japanese booster packs in some stores. I know my friend had a ton of them. My cousin actually has a... Uh, I'm quite envious. He has a Japanese Togetic and a Japanese Blossom. My champ. I don't know why I kept it in the original wrapping. For some reason, I want to pervert, preserve its shininess, even though it came with every... There was a, some kind of deck builder booster pack that had 60 cards, and a Machamp always came with one, so... I don't know why I kept it in the case. And I've got a shiny Hypno and a first edition non-shiny Hypno. Non-holographic Electro there. Different coughing, different cha or, uh, different right horn, Chansey to a different discolor Tangela's. First edition holographic Kangaskhan. That's not too bad. I still prefer my Clefable over it. There was oh, there's the promo Electabuzz from the movie. Um, I'll show you one thing in a second when I get to it. Now, when the fossils first came out, like Ammonite and Olmastar, most of them were first edition. So Kabuto was first edition. I had a first edition Kabutops, but I traded that one. Now here is the Zapdos. I had an original Zapdos. See that two by that one? That means second edition, which is, I don't like it. 
I wish I had an original Zapdos. If, if you notice, I had no second editions prior to this. I don't really care for those ones. But for Zapdos, that's the only one I have, so... I guess it works. And a Mewtwo. I'm losing focus. All the trainer cards, which I arranged in order of rarity. Most rare to least rare now. Just an example, for rarity, you'll notice in the bottom right, if my this will focus, see that's a diamond. That means it's not exactly common, but it's not rare. Now Gyarados has a star next to it. That means it's rare. Six out of 102. That means it's the sixth rarest one to get. Eevee has a circle. That means it's pretty common. Now for for booster packs, that usually means you'll get about six or seven common cards in a booster pack with two or three diamond cards, which are not as common, and then one star for one rare card. Some more trainer cards. A rocket card. And this is about the point where I stopped collecting when it got to Johto, even though I have a few Johto cards. Japanese Togepi would go great with my cousin's Japanese Togetic if I could get that. Energy cards, different energies, nothing special. And then promo, holographic Mew, and the card from the first movie. Now, the, it's funny because the promo holographic Mew is less rare than the non-holographic promo Mew. Figure that one out. Those are some other cards that came. Now, did these come with the booster packs? I don't know. I can't remember. Some coins. Another couple Japanese cards. I'm missing my green Vileplume coin, which annoys me. And here is actually where I collected some card captors. <laughs> Trading cards, if you can believe that, from Wizards of the Coast. They had one booster pack, which I got. If you'll see, the blue there means that it's common. The green, that's not green. That's green. That means that it's uh, not as common. And then purple, down here, means it's rare. Did I ever use these? No, but I love the anime, so I had to get it anyway. It tempted me. It tempted me. Now, another thing I got, completely worthless, were these. These are, I don't even know, these were some cards that came out later. These are not part of the original booster packs or anything like that. These are just cheap ways to make more money. <laughs> and yeah, I have too many of those. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of information. I have Pokemon cards. <laughs> Alright, I hope you liked the videos. And stay tuned for more. See you next time, everyone.